tell me about it, stud. Today on another pop review, we're going to be taking a look at the pop movies Grease number 556. This is Sandy at the Carnival. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. So as I said today, we're taking a look at the pop movies Grease number 556, Sandy Olsen at the Carnival Vinyl Figure. This of course is from the Grease 40th anniversary. Nice little window side here. Nice little display side. As you guys know, this is how I display my pops. The back, 553 is Danny Zuko, 554 is Sandy Olsen. 555 is Danny Zuko at the Carnival. 556 is Sandy Olsen at the Carnival. Uh, it'll be nice if, it'll be really nice if they release the rest of the T-Birds and the Pink Ladies as well. That way we, we can have a whole collection, you know. Uh, and as you guys can see, I did not purchase it like this. I accidentally dropped this when I was getting it down off the shelf. I just gathered up all the pops in the line and brought them down and Sandy fell and bent up the corner of the box. But that's okay because I don't plan on reselling anything from my collections. I plan on passing them down to my kids and grandkids and so on. If they want to sell them long after I'm gone, that's fine by me, but I don't plan on selling off any of my collections. Now let's go ahead and take a look in the box at Sandy Olsen. This of course is Sandy at the end of the movie. Uh, Sandy at the carnival as it's stated. Um, not sure exactly what that is. It looks like maybe that is a factory hair. I'm not sure. Let's see if it's on the box. Nope. Yeah, factory hair. Looks like they uh, got a little bit of glue or something stuck right there on her pants, right under her hand, and uh, just got painted the uh, flesh tone. I may take a black Sharpie to it, color that in, so it's not super noticeable. I don't plan on reselling my pops, at least not anytime soon, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I don't collect things to resell them, you know, maybe in the future, pass them down to my kids or my grandkids, whatever. If they want to sell them after I'm gone, fine, whatever. But I don't really plan on reselling any of my uh, collections. So, um, something that's also noticeable about this pop is that she's supposed to be holding a cigarette in this hand. 
<laughs> They've only really got her pointing with one finger. I understand why they can't have a cigarette in their hand, uh, but still it's kind of funny. They could have just uh, put both of her fingers in or whatever. Um, I, I don't understand why they made it to where she was pointing, uh, but still very nice. We got her red shoes, black leather pants, and her black top with her curled hair and earrings. Uh, the head does turn most of the way around, but it gets stuck right here on this lock of hair and her arm. And she does come with a display stand. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.